CompTIA Security Plus SY0501. This exam became available on October 4th, 2017. In prepping for this exam, you will learn threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. You will also learn about identity and access management, risk management, technologies and tools, architecture and design, cryptography, and PKI. That's public key infrastructure. Any job that is going to recognize Security Plus, it's typically going to be system admin, network admin, security admin, penetration tester, security specialist, security engineer, or maybe a security consultant. The pricing is $330 for one voucher. If you wanted to get an extra voucher just in case, I think it comes with Cert Blaster. I've heard some negative things about Cert Blaster, not trying to roast them, but if you wanted to get their next step up pricing package through CompTIA, I think it costs you just over $400. That's going to give you a one extra exam voucher in case you end up needing to do a retake depending on how ready you think you are maybe that's a good option just in, you know you have something to fall back on anyway the concentration of the exam <clears throat> you're going to focus 22 percent on technologies and tools 21 percent on threats attacks and vulnerabilities 16 percent on identity and access management 15% on architecture and design, 14% on risk management, and lastly, 12% on cryptography and PKI. That's public key infrastructure. The technologies and tools part of it, you're going to want to be able to install and configure network components, both hardware and software based, to support organizational security. Given a scenario, use appropriate software tools to assess the security posture of an organization, troubleshoot common security issues, analyze and interpret output from security technologies, deploy mobile devices securely, implement secure protocols. For the threat or the threats and attacks, vulnerabilities part of it, Given a scenario, analyze indicators of compromise and determine the type of malware. Compare and contrast types of attacks. Explain threat actor types and attributes. Explain penetration testing concepts. Explain vulnerability scanning concepts. Explain the impact associated with types of vulnerabilities. You will also want to understand identity and access management. So. Compare and contrast identity and access management concepts. Given a scenario, install and configure identity and access services. Implement identity and access management controls. Differentiate common account management practices. For architecture and design, <clears throat> you want to be able to explain use cases and purpose for frameworks, best practices, and secure configuration guides. Given a scenario, implement secure network architecture concepts. Implement secure systems design. Explain the importance of secure staging deployment concepts. Explain the security implications of embedded systems. Summarize secure application development and deployment concepts. Summarize cloud and virtualization concepts. Explain how resiliency and automation strategies reduce risk. And lastly, explain the importance of physical security controls. For risk management, you'll want to explain the importance of policies, plans, and procedures related to organizational security. Summarize business impact analysis concepts. Explain risk management processes and concepts. Given a scenario, follow incident response procedures. Summarize basic concepts of forensics. Explain disaster recovery and continuity of operations concepts. Compare and contrast various types of controls. Given a scenario, carry out data security and privacy practices. For cryptography and public key infrastructure, you will want to compare and contrast basic concepts of 
cryptography, explain cryptography algorithms and their basic characteristics, given a scenario, install and configure wireless security settings, implement public key infrastructure. <clears throat> now for the acronyms, CompTIA went acronym happy here. You will want to study for the Security Plus. So you're probably going to want to know, I think it's roughly, there's 325 acronyms. For example, uh, there's 3DS, there's AAA, ABAC, ACL, AES, AES256, AH, ALE, AP, API, APT. Uh, there's a lot. So, I mean, you can see we just started touching the A's. Yeah, there are, th <clears throat> there's definitely 325. If you want to see the full listing, check the description, and there's going to be a link to a form. That's R4P3 Network. From there, I'm going to try to give some prep materials. Anyways, the Security Plus hardware and software that they want you to have knowledge of is equipment, hardware, hardware tools, software tools, and then they list other and they claim SourceForge. The exam style, it's, uh, it's over the period of 90 minutes, you will have a maximum of 90 questions. So you could have maybe, you know, between like 75 ish or to 90 questions. The questions are multiple choice and some are performance based. The idea, I believe, is that typically the very beginning of the exam starts you off with performance-based questions, and I think that's to trick you or throw you off to make it a little, you know, anxiety-inducing or something like, oh man, I don't have time for this, so then you panic and freak out. They want to see that you can stay in control and handle the pressure, handle the stress, and maybe even uh, kind of prioritize things. So come back to the performance-based questions after you get all the multiple choice questions knocked out with a breeze, you know, just kind of clean sweep your multiple choice questions, which are after those performance-based questions, and then come back to those because you can mark those for review. And if you come back to those questions after you mark them as review, it gives you a chance to answer all your multiple choice questions and get the bulk of the exam or the assessment out of the way. A passing score is 750 on a scale of 100 to 900. It is recommended you have at least two years of experience in IT administration with a focus on security. And that completes the, uh, the overview there. The... CompTIA Security Plus is incredibly useful if you are looking to get your foot in the door for any security related career. <clears throat> it's definitely a great starter cert certificate. And if you take that exam, definitely study, know your stuff, because they are making it more and more challenging to get one of these under your belt, mainly because in the past, CompTIA had a bad rap because I guess everybody was saying it's too easy to get their certifications. Like you didn't even have to know much to go in and, and take the exam and get it. So now it is becoming more uh, memory. You need to know the concepts, the terminology, you know, you, you've got definitions along with your huge list of at least 325 acronyms. There's definitely a lot to know, but if you buckle down and you really study and you prepare yourself, you can't go wrong. So best of luck to you with your CompTIA Security Plus. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post in the comments section or register on the r4p3.net form. And I ho hopefully I'll see you there.